If your dog seems to have a really hard time settling down in your home or when you go somewhere else, or if your dog seems to have a hard time staying calm when someone comes into your home, the place command is going to be the command to teach your dog. First of all, the, the place command serves as like a safe spot for your dog to go, somewhere where they can go and lay down and no one will bother them. Secondly, the place command is a great outlet and a redirection for when they're feeling anxious so if they're having a hard time settling down you can say place they go to their place it's a great alternative behavior thirdly the place command serves as kind of an off switch for dogs that are very riled up and high energy especially a lot of working breed dogs have a hard time having an off switch and the place command is a great way to facilitate that and place command is a great impulse control command to teach them impulse control and teach them to practice being calm and settled like mochi is here right now and lastly Let's say you have guests coming over and your dog tends to rush the door, jump on them, whatever. A great alternative behavior you could teach them is the place command. So you would just say place, they go to their place, wherever you decide that is, they wait there, then you can release them with your release word and go about the whole interaction in a much more calm way. So today I'll be showing you how to teach the place command and also how to practice building up on that duration of the place command so that when you say place, your dog can learn that he has to stay there until you release them, whether that's one minute, five, 10 minutes later. Before we get started with the training, I have two additional bonus tips to go along with it. The first one is that when you are practicing duration training, so I'll show you that in the second part of the training, um, definitely try to get some long lasting chews or like a frozen conch to give your dog only in their place so that they start to associate their place spot. So whether it be their bed or whatever, with a long lasting chew that not only makes it easier for them to stay in the same spot for a while because they have something to do, um, but secondly, licking or chewing is a very calming thing for dogs. Again, creating a calm association with that spot. And thirdly, it also creates a positive association with that spot. So we want them to enjoy going to their place. It's not a punishment. And my last bonus tip before we get into training is to not let people bother your dog in their place. So let's say you have a bunch of kids coming over and you tell your dog to go to their place to calm down, don't let those like kids run up to your dog when they're in that place. You want your dog to associate their place with a calm space and it's almost like their little bubble that no one can go into and bother them in. So here's how to teach your dog how to do place. First, you're gonna need a clicker or a marker word, whatever you decide to use or whatever you often use. Um, but when we start working into the uh, duration part of the training, you won't need a clicker anymore because it's gonna be uh, less so a command and more so practicing being there, but I'll show you that in a second. So Mochi here doesn't actually know what place is. Um, I just put him here right now, but um, he used to know what place was at the beginning, but then we never used it because Mochi is pretty calm already. So I've never had the need, but that's good because then today I can show you what it's like to really train a dog that doesn't know what place is. So first you're just gonna need a bunch of treats and again, a clicker. If you don't have a clicker, you can use a marker word. So um, I interchange the clicker along with the marker word yes it doesn't matter what you do as long as you stay consistent so first i'm gonna get mochi up mochi go over there i'm just throwing him a treat over there to get him up and moving just so we can reset and for my place i'm using this towel because we're on vacation i don't have his bed but it doesn't matter you can use his their bed that's probably the best part or like a dog platform whatever you think is best and what you're gonna do is say your command word so i'm using place and as soon as their two front paws uh, touch onto their place, I'm gonna click and reward. Place, good boy. So I'm just getting him used to putting <laughs> his uh, paws on the place. And since I'm starting out quite fresh with a new dog, I'm just gonna reward their front paws going on. He didn't give me a chance to say the command word, but this is just gonna be what I'm gonna do a few times. Would you place? Good. And eventually, obviously, the goal is for Mochi and your dog to lay down on their place and stay there. But since we're just starting, I'm starting with very low standards. Again, just his front paws going on the place. Place. Good boy. So Mochi seems to be moving pretty fast. If your dog isn't moving this fast and maybe they're a little bit more hesitant to go on their bed, definitely stay at this step for a little bit longer. But since he seems to be like totally fine going on the blanket, I'm going to raise the standards and only mark and reward once all four paws are on here. And as you can see between uh, practice sessions, I'm just throwing some low value treats over there to get him off the mat so we can reset again because I really want him to practice the act of going on to the place. Place. So as you can see, four paws on, click and reward. Go over there, reset. Mochi, place. Good. And Mochi's already getting that place means to put all four paws on this towel. Mitchie, place. 
Good boy. So again, you might have to stay at this step a little bit longer with some dogs if they seem to be maybe a little more, bit more high or a little bit more distracted or if they're more hesitant to go on their bed. But again, Mochi seems pretty chill. So I'm gonna now raise the standards so that he has to sit on the place. Good boy. So again, reset. If you please. And it's super easy to put a dog into a sit without having to say sit. That's why I'm starting with a sit. And then I'm gonna move on to the final step, which is going into a down. Mochi. So once he's on the towel and sits, mark and reward. And to make a dog sit without having to say sit, you just have to lift the, one second, lift the treat up above their nose and they'll do it. So like this, Mochi, please. So lur, and if you lift the treat up, they usually just sit. Let's do one more sit. Mochi, please. So as you can see, a lot of this is about um, luring and marking and rewarding at like a very low standard. Get up! <laughs> so now that Mochi seems to understand that, I'm gonna put him into a down. Place. Down. Good boy. And you can either lure them or you can say the word down or whatever their command is for going down. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as they go into a down, you click and reward. Mochi, place. Down. Good. And now that we're in the final stage of the command, which is the down, I'm gonna start adding a release word. This is really important because eventually place is gonna be a command where they can't leave until you release them. So now that he knows that place just means to go on his blanket and go down, I'm gonna add that extra layer of a release word. Free! And I'm just gonna throw a treat over there so that he goes away. Did you place? Good. Free! And I'm just gonna do this a few more times. Place! Oh, geez, it's, on the, it's on the carpet. It's on the carpet. Okay, my job, please. Good boy. Free. And so you're gonna do this many, many, many times over the course of a few days or a few training sessions at least. Please. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna move on to the next step, but just he won't be that good at it. So the next step would be to start increasing the, the distance between you and the actual place because eventually you wanna be able to say place and you're not next to the bed or the dog and your dog goes there on his own. So for the purpose of showing you how I do it, I would do it now, but I wouldn't move this fast usually in a training session because Mochi wouldn't be that much of an expert yet. But for example, I would stand over here. Free. Mochi, place. Good boy. Free. And eventually move further and further away from the place and practice that over and over again. And once you've mastered that, then we would move on to the next phase, which is increasing the duration. And for this part, I'm not gonna use a clicker because the clicker serves kind of as a, kind of like a release word at the same time. And this isn't really like a trick that you have to capture the moment because they have to stay there long-term. So now you don't really need a clicker. And what you're gonna do is same thing, which you place. place and you could give them the treat but then we're gonna continuously give them treats and do what is called like a continuous reinforcer word or whatever to encourage them to stay in the place so I'm just gonna continue feeding him a stream of treats and rewarding him and praising him for staying in that down but I really want him to stay in that down good boy good boy so at the beginning you could really give a continuous stream of treats one after the other just to make sure that they stay down. And then once, now that it's been like, I don't know, 10 seconds, I can say free and throw the treat so he goes away. I'll do that again, my G place. Good boy. And it's really important to also maintain more of a calm behavior than when you're teaching something like recall, because this is not really something that's exciting. It's something that's supposed to teach them to be calm and yeah, kind of train their impulses. So I just want to maintain an overall calm demeanor so that Mochi also reflects that energy. Right, Mel? Good boy. Good boy. As they get better, you can start giving the treats more sparsely. So I'm just going to give 
walking with treat. Good boy. Good boy. Another one. Good boy. Okay, free. So a lot of dogs won't have such an easy time doing this. Um, so you're gonna wanna move as slow as possible and as slow as your dog requires. So, would you please? I'll do one more of this. Good boy. And again, now I'm gonna give him less treats than the last times. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, free. And then the final step, to really proof this would be again to create distance between you and the place and the dog and repeat that several times. And once they can even do that, you would start adding distractions. So for example, let you place. Once they're in their place, you wanna maybe like move around them. Let you stay. I'm gonna need him to, I'm gonna need to tell him to stay right now cause he's not that good. But hopefully if you've reached the stage of the training, you wouldn't have to tell them to stay and you could even move around them and reward them for staying in their place until you free them. So I could even move away a little. Okay, free. Good boy. And eventually your dog will be able to do it again when you're not standing right here and giving him treats the whole time. And eventually after this training pays off, your dog will automatically also associate place with very positive emotions because of all the treats that they're getting and the reinforcements they're getting and also eventually yes yeah, the practice being calm and be able to calm down in situations where they normally wouldn't have been able to before but as soon as they get put to their place and are able to calm down for two three minutes it'll be a lot easier for them to remain calm in new situations or when guests come over and so on and so forth comment down below when you would use the place command and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time good boy